June 1, 2004 St. Joan of Arc I sent my best wishes to each and every soul on earth. We in heaven watch the events in the world because you are our brothers and sisters and you are not yet safely home. We watch with the greatest consideration for the difficulties you are encountering, particularly in this time of disobedience. Good and faithful souls, take heart from my words and from the words of my fellow triumphant ones who seek to console you and to assist you. Your time on earth will end shortly, in that each life, regardless of its length, is but a blink in comparison to eternity. When I was on the earth I found the time moved swiftly. This was a mercy because I wanted to be with God. I had doubts, as we all did, but I wanted my earthly exile to end. You may not feel that way. You may be frightened of making the transition from earth to heaven, which is dying in your body. Many experience this fear, so you are not alone. I want to tell you not to be afraid, especially if you are following the way of Jesus. I died, some would say, in a terrible way, at least as far as those on earth would consider. Let me share my experience of it so that you may know the truth. I died with the greatest of joy. I knew Jesus was coming for me I knew this. Did I know this because I experienced apparitions and extraordinary promises? No I knew he was coming because he tells us he is coming. Read scripture and take each one of his promises to your heart. He is preparing a place for you. Would he forget to collect you when he has worked to create a beautiful and perfect dwelling place in heaven for you and only you? Please, brothers and sisters, you cannot trust too much in Jesus. Such a thing would be impossible. The problem is always that you do not trust him enough. I would love for people to be confident in Jesus because if they were, they would have no fear. I want you to trust Jesus more and more, beginning today. I, Joan, will help you to do so when you trust Jesus, you have no fear. When you trust Jesus, you have the greatest of confidence in your heavenly direction. When you trust Jesus, you can look at those who speak deceitfully and you can immediately detect and identify the falsehoods. Your comfort with him is so great that you are able to represent him in an effortless fashion. Then, when it comes time to die, you do not fear, but trust. You look around at the earth and all you have managed to do for him and you say, finally, it is over. I am ready. Now, you may feel you have done little for him. Whether you have done little or whether you have done great things, you must serve him in earnest today. Perhaps you are anxious to serve but do not understand what Jesus is asking of you. You should sit silently in prayer and ask him. Then rise and with the greatest of confidence walk into each day. Because you have asked him, he will reveal his will to you, enabling you to determine exactly at each given moment what he needs from you. You may not know what he will want from you in two years, or two months, or two days, but you will know what he is asking of you today, and that is all you need concern yourself about. You can hardly jump ahead to next year's tasks, now can you? Stay in your present day, where he has placed you, and serve him. I, Joan, want to help you to determine his will for you. When you are unsure, you must petition me say this, Joan, who placed the greatest of emphasis on the will of Jesus, show me what he is asking of me that is all. I will rush to obtain the grace of discernment for you so that you understand what our Lord needs you to do for his kingdom. I love you all. I admire your courage. Please remember that while I was known for great courage, I was really a fake. I, Joan, had no courage. Jesus Christ, however, filled me so full with his courage that I actually gave great amounts away to those who serve with me you can do this too. You need have nothing but willingness. Jesus will supply the rest. Come to me, brothers and sisters, and I will help you. End of message.